Have you ever played the cornhole game and wanted to yourself, hmm, I wonder what it takes to build it myself, or hmm, I got this extra wood around, maybe I can build it myself. Well, this video is just for you. We will build it together. <sighs> What's up, beautiful people, and welcome to another episode of Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Don't, don't Keep Up With The, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Don't, don't Keep Up With The, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. What's up, beautiful people, to another episode of Don't Keep Up With The Joneses Palette Idea Edition. And I'm so excited because this video is about to be phenomenally great because it is something that I get to build that I love to play, okay? We are building on our backyard palette deck extravaganza, okay? And this game right here is gonna take it to the next level, okay? I'm very competitive, so building this game is just even giving me excitement knowing what's to come. And uh, I'm sure you've already seen the thumbnail, so you know I'm building a cornhole. I do have some extra wood over here that I will use for one of the cornhole, you know, marker stands, goals. I don't even know what it's called. I just know you toss the bean bag one at a time, you shoot for the hole, and you win if you hit it, okay? That's all I know. And then the other one, I will use pallet boards. Y'all already know. So, you know, it's a mix of two. I'll be using two by fours to create the whole border situation. And then from there, I have one that's the smooth plywood type situation. And then I have another one that will be pallets okay so it is what it is like that's that's just the excitement that i have that's the fun that i look to have i'm glad that you get to go along for the journey so without any further ado let's go ahead and get to building okay so obviously i had to look up the measurements for the cornhole game because this is not something that I just do on a regular basis. Anyway, on one side you have to have it to be four feet. Well, on the sides, the long end is four feet, okay, is what you cut it out to be. And then the top ends you want it to be 21 inches and a half, okay? 21 and a half, and it makes sense when we put it all together. So that's what it is. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my wood out to those measurements. And then the top pieces have to be two feet by four feet. Two feet long, four, wait, two feet wide, four feet long and that'll complete those situations okay and then i'ma cut the legs out to be 15 inches now it'll make sense once we start this build why i'm doing things the way i'm doing them and as you go along the journey you'll be like aha i get it and i see it and i believe i could do it too okay so let's go ahead and get the cutting and then we'll be that much closer to fun and the backyard and if you haven't already done so go ahead and subscribe to the channel i don't know what you're waiting for click that red button and turn to a gray button so we can have fun together in future projects okay okay i gave you enough time to do it all right all right all right let's go All right, so now that I have those parts all cut out, now I can go ahead and create the frame. Now, the reason why I am building the frame first because, of course, the frame is where everything is built on top of Param. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that it's secured. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the legs. We'll cut the legs out once I, you know, build the frame. I'll go ahead and cut the legs, which will have its vital installation part in this as well. Now I did tell you 21 and a half inches is actually 21 inches for the top and bottom, okay? So don't make the mistake that I said in doing what I said. Because I told you what not to do. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and create this frame and we will be another step closer to a corn hole game. Okay, so now that I have the frames to the areas and ways in which I want them to be, 
Frame number one back there, frame number two still on the board. I will go ahead and start assembling the top portion of it. Now, like I said, the first one, it will be pallet boards that you see back there. And the second one will actually be this table that I use to help like level things out to make the frame. So I'm gonna have to obviously cut that up because this is a huger than four by two. No problem, I'll show you how to break that bad boy down. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the pallet boards on top of this one so we can have one already done. Now, make sure you stick to the end because I have some clever ideas on how we can paint and finish the tops of these cornhole games. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna share it with you. I'm gonna see what you think because y'all already know we like the conversation. We love when you comment. We love when you hit that thumbs up. It encourages us to keep going and doing what we're doing, okay? So make sure you smash that thumbs button and make sure you hit that subscribe button and just click all the buttons after the video, okay? I don't know. Let's go. So if you was looking close enough, I'm sure you noticed that the pallet boards didn't go all the way to the end. But don't worry, don't sweat, I have an idea. I'm gonna use the excess pieces from this plywood board to fill in the gap, and then we will have a completed, completed cornhole, you know, goal. I don't even know what it's called. I'm gonna call it a goal because I play basketball as well, so it's like basketball goal, cornhole, go okay so i'm gonna go ahead and do some rough cuts on this just to make it smaller because i'm gonna take the whole approach on how you eat an elephant you just take a bite at a time and so i'm gonna cut off a piece of this plywood and then cut another piece off and then i will put it through my table saw and just you know go ahead and cleanly make the pieces okay four feet by two feet is what i am cutting everything to so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and um, while I'm doing that, you should go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already done so. I don't know why you haven't done so, but you go ahead and hit the subscribe What's up, beautiful people? Okay, so if you probably haven't already noticed, this is day two. I had to come back to finish off this video because my brother was talking to me as I was doing my cutting and he messed me up, okay? More than anything, let me just show you what this boy ended up looking like because he was chitter chatting and talking to me. Wah, wah, wah. Ugh. Look at it. <laughs> oh, it looks terrible. Y'all can see it like. Oh, it looks terrible. I can even turn it this way so maybe you can see like the hole that I was trying to follow. Um, but nonetheless, I did end up messing it up, chopping it up. And I was really mad. Like, I was mad um, with myself, one, and then two, with ultimately how I wasn't able to focus and how things turned out. And so I had to start over. Um, I had to ask for help, which I do have a great friend um great man by the name of Branky. he's like a uncle to me uh he's actually one in which i talk through all of my different palette projects through um give him my ideas let him shoot me his ideas and ultimately this is ultimately what you then see uh, when i'm done with it all and so you don't get to know him you get to know me which is a filter of him and me <laughs> these are the videos so anyway i have this and then i went to him and we ended up with this Boom! Yes, we have one completed whole cornhole side in which I now have to reapply this board to 
the uh, frame itself, which I am so excited about. I just have to go ahead and like sand out the middle area. And then once I sand it out, then it'll be good to go. And then I can add the legs to the frame. And then ladies and gentlemen, we have a completed cornhole goal, whatever I call it. I don't know. I think it's called a goal, even though I know it's the wrong name, whatever. It is the name I'm going to call it. And then so I have the palette board one too. Let me show you that. Ah, boom. Here is the palette board one with the hole yeah 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 the hole is there and i'm gonna show you all what i had to do to make sure the pallets stayed secure and right as i was cutting them so make sure you stay tuned for that but until then let me go ahead and secure that board to uh, that frame and then put the legs on it and then we will talk it all out okay all right Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already done so because <laughs> it's hot outside and it's about to rain. So let me do what I got to do. All right, all right. Oh boy, I work so much better when I'm by myself. As you can see, I have one corn hole rack goal, whatever I'm gonna call it, done, completed, just like that. Now I did it. I show you little pieces and traces of what it takes to get it all done. But nonetheless, I'm gonna show you how to do the pallet one, which the pallet one is a little bit more tricky and a little bit more difficult to get done because it is strips of wood as opposed to a solid piece of wood, which you get here with your plywood board, okay? So let me show you some key features. Okay, so some key things that you need to be aware of when using your pallet boards, as you can see my pallet board is here. At boom, let me show you on the back side. Look at the back. I had to do the support around the hole because of course when you cut the hole out, it doesn't give the full support from top to bottom um, as the piece of wood, right? So I had to do the hole the top of the hole, the bottom of the hole as support, and I'll just have to drill the pallet boards themselves down into the wood braces to make sure it's nice, firm, and all that good stuff. So when the corn bags, you know, hit the board, it doesn't bounce and bounce and bounce like a basketball rim, but it'll stick solid as it should, as it would on the other one. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure the um, boards are secured to the support uh, by way of screws, of course. And then from there, which I probably could use nails, but I don't have nails like that. So I will use screws, um, boom, just a thought. And then from there, I will go ahead and drill in the side pieces. So key facts about the legs to the cornhole. They are supposed to be 11 and a half inches long. And then you see the little hole with the little side top so it can spin, okay? You want it to be able to turn so that it can stand up when it's ready to play and come down when you're ready to store it and things like that. So in this one, it's gonna be a little bit different because I won't be able to fold it down as I would on the other one. So I'll have to like drill it in here. As you can see, I have the board there, so it won't be able to go all the way down, but it will be able to go down nonetheless, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and secure the boards, drill these on, show you it visually so you can see it step by step and then you'll be able to see it completed. Of course, when I finish, I will have to sand it because it is a pallet wood, so I wanna make sure I have a smooth surface so that when we paint, speaking of paint, comment below, let us know what colors you think we should paint these cornhole games, what designs. Put me links down to Pinterest or whatever you think different and cool ideas come across your screens that can come on my screen so that we can have fun with the paint. Uh, speaking of paint, I picked up paint for the deck, but it's been threatening me with this rain. Like, I'm gonna give it a try tomorrow. And I don't see on the can itself, like, hold on. See, here's the paint. Let me just show y'all. You all may think I have been lying to you. Here's the brown color, boom, boom, boom. But we have the paint. It's just been threatening us with this rain. Like, the rain is every day. So, I'm gonna give it a try. I do not see on here how long. Oh, wait, I do, I see it, I see it. Dry time, four to six hours. Drives to touch in four hours. Ugh. Wait, 24 to 48 hours before light foot traffic. Uh, 72 hours to fuel core. Oh. oh my gosh, premature heavy traffic will cause coating failure. Oh my gosh, okay, okay. It doesn't say anything about rain. 
Uh, uh, okay. All right. Well, I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to give it a try. Four to six hours. I'm going to give it a try. We'll see what happens. But nonetheless, the paint it will be going on the deck, okay? All right. Hopefully tomorrow. If not, we'll figure something out, okay? Y'all pray for us because this we want to get done. The backyard deck, as you can see, we're creating more fun. But I want to get the deck done, okay? All right. So let me finish this bad boy. And then I'll show you it all. I'll sand it, all that good stuff. And we will have a completed project. Okay, so if what I just did really didn't make sense, let me explain it to you. So as you can see, I drilled it into the board. I had to do it down here because of the support beams. Now, usually you probably would use a better tool than what I have made available, which is your simple, whatever this is, I don't know. Sorry, don't know, I'm still learning my tools. But nonetheless, I use this to like turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it. So it's just a little, you know, arm exercise, all that good stuff, but then, I use this type of bolt. It is four, no, excuse me, it's five inches. The reason why it is five inches because the two by four that I'm initially screwing it through, which is the uh, frame, and then the legs is another two by four. So that's two inches plus two inches, which gives me an excess of one inch because of the five inch uh, screw, or uh, bolt, whatever it's called. Okay, so that's simple math, okay? Um, something that I'm telling you that I had to think about today because I actually got the wrong ones initially. Um, I didn't do that quick math, so make sure you do that. And then make sure you have an end in which you can have a tool to like, to do it with because there are ones like, the one, uh, it's other stuff. Use this one, you'll be good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side as I did this side. And then my friends, we will have a completed situation. Okay, so let's go ahead and do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and just like that, we have our corn whole racks ready. I hope I gave you enough time to let me know and think about different colors I should do them in, okay? Or, I mean, I could do the same color, or I could do the same color as the deck. I don't know. I may use the excess paint to go ahead and do this because it would have to be deck paint since it is wood. It will be outside. <laughs> wood would be outside. <laughs> Anyway, so that is it ladies and gentlemen. I won't say it's easy because it's really not. I had to get help from my great friend Mr. Frankie. I love him dearly. Thank him. He doesn't really do like social media. So hopefully he will see this and um, give it a thumbs up and say like hello. But if he doesn't, please everybody say thank you Frankie in the comment section below because without him this project would not be complete. I would not have had my holes drilled in and all that good stuff. So yeah, man. Um, hopefully this project was encouraging. Let you know what you could do if you put your mind to it. And if it doesn't, hey, you can always go to Home Depot or Lowe's or Amazon, I'm sure, and buy it for yourself. But hey, I wanted to have a little fun. That's the one with the pallets. So this one is pretty cool. Like so many uses of pallet wood. And I must say, like, even with that support, it's good. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not going to bounce. It's not going to give. It's going to do what it has to do. And then here, oh, this is the other part. Boom! All right, so this is the part of it all that would have helped it come together. On the other end, like on the inside, to like fasten everything together, use this wing nut. This wing nut happened to be too small, so I'm going to have to take them back and get some more. Um, but when you get it to the height and the angle in which you need, you just turn this wing nut on the inside fasten everything together it locks it into place and you'll be good to go for all of your gaming satisfaction needs okay wing nut and washers washer so you have your frame washer the leg washer wing nut 
Boom, 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 boom. That is the way it goes. That is how you fasten everything together. And that is how you have fun in the yard with your cornhole game. Made yourself. DIY cornhole game. Yeah. All right, beautiful people, that is it. I'll see you all tomorrow for another DIY project. And uh, until then, hey, watch a couple of these videos. Have some fun. I hope you've already subscribed. Help us to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of this summer. And with your subscription, hitting that red button, turn into a gray button. It would help us get there, okay? Thank you, beautiful people. We love you. We thank you. We'll see you next time on another video. And until next time, y'all have fun. Be safe. Wear your mask. Be safe, wash your hands, 20 seconds, nothing less. All right, beautiful people, until next time, y'all already know.